In this video, we're going to quickly show you how to get started with Autodesk Formic Pro. So the first thing I like to do is I like to locate my project. The reason for this is because when you perform solar analysis, energy analysis or shadow analysis, you know that it's accurate located information because it pulls in the local weather station location and information as well. So I've chosen a site here in Dublin, Ireland that I'm familiar with and I've just selected import satellite image. I can also choose to just set location or in fact I, I can zoom out and go to any location uh, across the UK, across, across the entire globe essentially. So I then imported that satellite image. So you can see I have it here in the background and I know that this is my site in here. So the next thing I can do, I can actually start drawing some type of building on that using the modeling tools. I like to use the pen tool uh, or the line tool and you can use the keyboard shortcut for this just by typing L or you can draw a rectangle or there's various other 3D tools as well. But I like to keep it simple. Just take a line tool and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna draw a building design here. And you can see as the you draw the line, the measurements come up, so that's 10 meters. I can just type in 10 meters if I want and that process like that. I can also change the units as well if I wish. I can change it to meters, which I like to work in just at the early stage. And you can see that it tells you when it's perpendicular to the other line. So I just wanna draw maybe a type of house here. And just keep a basic shape. It'll tell you if it's perpendicular to that line as well. That's if you wanna keep your building perpendicular, not everyone does. You might wanna put a, a slight uh, interesting shape into your building for whatever reason. So, and then it creates a surface of your, your what essentially is your ground floor plan here. So what I'm gonna do is just click on that and then gonna extrude that up extrude it up as far as I want so let's say seven meters for a two-story building so let's say this is a flat roof building and we're going to keep it nice contemporary design I'm just going to take my line tool again and what I'm going to do I'm just going to strike a line across the middle here so it's going to snap to my, my center point and snap to my other center point so what I'm going to do I just want to manipulate uh, this particular uh, part of the building just to kind of set it back from the road we're in a residential area here so we, we want to keep the building uh, to have a, as little impact on the road as possible so what i'm going to do is just maybe pull it back to here so we're going to pull that down and that surface disappears you see we've got a nice setback on our building there so we've got a, a, a fairly basic mass and then if i want maybe i want to create a, another type of building uh, down the back here i can also create uh, another footprint of a building here. We can make this more simple. This can be maybe some sort of an ancillary building. And extrude that up. I'll just leave it at four meters. I can type in four meters if I want. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a simple apex roof on this. So what I'm going to do then is, is, is take my rectangle tool. Sorry, take my line tool. I'm going to copy this if I right click on this it will give me some copy options so I can just go I can create a group if I wish but I can also copy so ray copy down here select where I want to copy and it actually extrudes it and you can see all the lines have disappeared so we've got kind of a, a nice house shape we can go and create more detail on that if I want something I like to do is just just create a group as well uh, just to kind of keep it together and then if I, I can actually create a group of this building type as well and then what I can actually do, I can actually duplicate this building. You can say it's a, it's a series of houses. I can just control C and control V. Just place that anywhere. What I can actually do is just rotate that around as well. Just making sure that the lines are on. I can just right click on this and then just rotate. So I can maybe turn that around like that. So we can keep it fairly conceptual for now. You can also import a lot of other uh, objects as well, including Revit families, and you can integrate this directly into Revit as well. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm actually going to perform a solar analysis on this. I'm just going to turn on my shadows. I want to, to look at what my shadows are, and it's kind of casting shadows there. I can do a bit more detail if I want, if I wanted to model up the context. What I'm actually going to do is just select those, click solar analysis, just take a quick second for that to load. See the weather station data is, is downloading. Uh, that usually just takes a, a couple of moments so with all your objects selected uh, i can actually hit analyze on this it'll take a moment and it will tell me essentially where the sun or where the solar radiation 
is impacting the building and, and what the greatest impact is. So we know on our north facing facade um, in the Northern Hemisphere that obviously that's going to be the coolest throughout the year. Uh, and we can actually cheer, choose for a year cumulative uh, for where all the solar radiation. And this can help inform, I suppose, it, where you're going to put shading on certain windows. So if you're getting too much sunlight on the front facade, uh, if you've got a lot of glass, you might want to put shading. Or in fact, if you're going to put solar panels, which facade are you going to put them in? And maybe you can actually edit uh, a different roof to maybe suit that as well. Uh, and we can see here that it, it's going to be quite um, a low impact of sun on the rear facade. So you might put less windows or less glazing uh, in that side as well. This can then all be exported into Revit. Simply export, you can save it in BIM 360 or save it locally. Uh, and you can just choose to export it as uh, any type of file, DWG, AXM. I like to use it an AXM file, uh, purely because that, that's the, the proprietary uh, ASM file. What I have to do is just reset out of this. Just have to come out of solar analysis first. Export locally. And just to export. And then simply just on my desktop, form the concept save on that and replace, and then you can import that into Revit as well.